another new topic in your 10th biology that is about transportation the next chapter that is transportation okay third lesson transportation transportation is also called as circulation we are calling the transportation as circulation what is this transportation do you know by the name as it is suggesting us transport this system mainly involves in transportation of certain substances okay we will discuss about everything in the introduction it is the introduction part of transportation we in our body we have different systems is it right why we have different systems to perform different biological activities to perform different life processes our body requires different systems okay in that different systems transportation is one of the important system one of the important system why it is very important system okay after listening to me you will also confirm it is very very important system okay as it is involving in the transportation of materials and certain substances which are very useful for our daily life for doing different activities we call this system as circulatory system okay if we talk about uh, uh, from one country to another country for example i am telling if you want to move what do we need we need vehicles is it right yes we need vehicles if you want to go from one village to another village what we are using again we are using vehicle for running proper running of your vehicle what do we need we need a road okay uh, either it is a bike or auto or bus whatever it is the vehicle we need road okay means we need one pathway proper pathway in the same manner in order to transport certain materials here also one important pathway is there we are going to discuss about that pathway okay we already discussed different things in your first lesson and second lesson nutrition as well as respiration we all know that for our survival we need food materials nutrients which is in the form of glucose okay we need glucose along along by the help of glucose are you able to get energy though your body is containing more amounts of glucose in the absence of oxygen are we able to get energy no as uh, how much importance we have to the glucose in our body in the same manner we have a lot of importance we are giving a lot of importance to the oxygen whenever this oxygen mixes with the glucose okay whenever the oxidation of glucose takes place then only our cells capable to produce energy is it right yes okay that's why our body requires two materials okay important materials what are that glucose and oxygen glucose and oxygen from where do we get all this glucose or other essential substances food materials from plants and in our body where we are able to get more nutrients in our digestive system that is inside our small intestine we have lot of nutrients because the small intestine it is absorbing many nutrients it may contain a lot of nutrients okay and oxygen where it is available the oxygen is available inside the lungs actually it is present in the atmosphere whenever we inhale the air then the alveoli may reach of oxygen okay then here alveoli contain more oxygen and our digestive system it may contain glucose and where do we have cells we have cells throughout our body from our head to the feet we have millions and trillions of cells each and every cell require the nutrients and the oxygen how this glucose 
and oxygen may reach each and every cell by using what system it is going to be reached to each and every cell okay that what we need to discuss here okay do you understand what i am telling yes here glucose and oxygen will be supplied to each and every cell by the help of a system called as circulatory system called as circulatory system or a transportation okay by the help of circulatory system the glucose and oxygen they just supply to each and every cell of our body okay if we talk about okay our cells now they are rich of glucose and oxygen then what is the next process what is going to happen by the help of this glucose and oxygen the cell it may get some energy and it may involve in many biochemical reactions every day every minute whenever a new product formed in the cell along with the new product by the reaction they may release some waste materials waste materials okay by the biochemical reactions by different processes which are undergoing inside the cell they may release some amount of waste certain waste materials like carbon dioxide and urea and this carbon dioxide and urea or the waste materials whenever we have waste material in our home do we have interest to keep a lot of waste for about one month or two months at our home is it nice no that's why every day what we are doing we just throwing the waste material into the dumping yard or to the municipal people like that we just removing the waste material from our home in the same manner here our cells also to be get rid of waste material how they get rid again by using the important system called as transportation by the help of transportation or circulatory system all the waste materials of the cell is just excreted out if we talk about carbon dioxide carbon dioxide will be removed from the cell by the help of alveoli and finally they reach out of our body through our nostrils if we talk about urea urea is also one of the waste material and this waste material will be sent to the excretory system to the kidneys in order to remove okay uh, whenever they reach the excretory system simply the excretory system make the urea to go out of our body in the form of urine okay like that we just get rid of all these waste materials again by the help of circulatory system okay here we our body is capable to get all the requirements all the essential materials to each and every cell by the help of circulatory system and all the waste materials which are produced inside our cells will be removed by will be removed by again with the help of circulatory system is it right that's why circulatory system a transportation is very very important system for all varieties of living organisms except unicellular organisms because they does not contain special systems okay then move to the next one here in the transportation it is very important to discuss about pulse what is meant by pulse if you keep your fingers two fingers on your wrist on your wrist here if you observe if you press and if you observe for some time you may find some rhythmic up and downs okay your fingers able to feel some rhythmic up and downs okay here the rhythmic contraction and relaxation of heart is called as pulse pulse is same as our heartbeat okay the pulse is same as our heartbeat actually uh, an adult human being 
they are capable to show the pulse rate about 72 times per minute adult human beings okay then if we talk about uh, actually in olden days we don't have any machine to check the pulse or to check the heartbeat and at the time of uh, uh, in the year 1816 a scientist named as Rene Linick a scientist named as Rene Linick for the first time he discovered a machine to observe the heartbeat of the patient and he named that machine as stethoscope whenever you observe a doctor on his neck he is holding one machine what is that one equipment medical equipment what is that stethoscope by that he is able to understand what he is able to understand what is the condition of the patient okay that is why uh, the credit goes to Rene Linick but before Rene Linick most of the people they don't have any machine just the doctor he may keep his ear near to the heart of the patient and he may listen the heartbeat okay and after that some people they also used uh, a paper tubes in order to listen the heartbeat clearly and then this Rene Linick he used a bamboo stick which is having a hollow hole like this one end near to the heart of the patient and another end near to the ear of the doctor then he can able to listen the heartbeat in a clear way okay and he named that machine as stethoscope who named the machine as stethoscope Rene Lenig in which year 1816 who discovered the stethoscope for the first time Rene Linick in the year 1816 okay then move to the next one we also capable to prepare our own stethoscope yes it is uh, very easy to prepare okay for this you need to take some cardboard or a paper and you need to prepare a tube which is having 10 inches long the tube should be 10 inches long and width of the tube should be 1 inch okay after preparing this you just observe the heartbeat of your friends or family members okay depending on your interest you are capable to observe anyone's heartbeat by this uh, paper stethoscope which is made by you okay and the pulse rate it is not same for each and every person it may vary from person to person depending on the work and age uh, the pulse rate it just varies okay for infants one type of pulse rate for old age people another type for adults another type for teenage people another type like that it may vary from one age group people to another age group people and at the same time it also vary uh, while we are in the rest we may observe one type of pulse rate while we are doing a sternness exercise or while we are doing any hard work we can find another type of a pulse rate okay depending on the work what we are doing the pulse rate it just varies and in between the age groups also the pulse rate it just varies okay do you understand okay the pulse rate is exactly means approximately equal to the heartbeat okay if you want to observe your pulse rate you just keep your fingers near to your wrist and try to find trying to count and then you can able to find the rate of your pulse okay and we are also able to observe this by preparing a small machine okay take for this preparation of a small stethoscope uh, which is capable to observe the pulse rate you just need a shut button and into the button you just insert a match stick and try to keep that machine near to your wrist okay then you are able to find some up and downs 
okay in a rhythmic manner by that we are capable to find uh, the pulse rate of our body okay do you understand and i will meet you soon with new topic of transportation about heart okay do you have interest to listen then stay curious to listen thank you for watching